I think I'm doing it. I'm going to finally max my five stars. And I wanted to do this video kind of in an excited mood, but it kind of feels more like I'm doing it in like spite and frustration. And it's a last ditch effort to still find some reason to play this game. Because I'm realizing I'm logged into war tomorrow, so I have to do war. But I am kind of like at my wit's end with this game. Like, I don't want to play it. But I made promises and I said I would do this and I'm going to... If I'm opted into war, I will always participate in war. Also gonna get do this. Who knows? Maybe I'll find some joy from it. Or who knows? Maybe my luck will be like, hey, you know what? You're finally playing the game like everyone else. Maybe we'll actually give you posted odds. I don't know, but I need to get this out of the way. Because if I don't do it now, well, I'm kind of angry too. I don't know if I'll ever, like, fully commit to it. Like, I, I've told you before, like, how I had all these goals of maxing my five stars like at this point in time or this point in time and I kept pushing it off. So here we are just gonna fucking do it while I'm pissed while after a lot of bad summons I'm in a drought that I it's been 630 uh, it might be more than that six 640 we'll say Pulse. And in the only new event 5 star I pulled out of all of those pulls was this rain here. I did pull, if we want to count dupes, I pulled my fourth Frida, my second boss wolf, and a costume for my Vanda. And that is everything I've pulled in the last 600 pulls. Unfortunately, rain was the only new one. And so, I'm, and right now I haven't pulled anything in over 200 pulls. And I'm, so yes, there's a very big drought right now, so it's it's got me in my wit's end. I've had droughts so many times in this past. Like, I'm I'm experiencing droughts more often than I'm experiencing, like, average luck. So, yes. I, I'm i already, if I'm, if I'm snippy or if I'm, like, fresh, that's what it is. But I want this video to happen. I want it. I want to just max my five stars so that way it's over with. There's no more, like, will she, won't she. There's no more debating in my mind. And, yeah. Okay, so I don't have any teams currently because I'm not playing this game really. So every new 3 star and 4 star or faded summon or whatever I have, just throw them here. But I can't level because I can't get new heroes because my roster space is full. So I'm just going with my first instincts, like I mentioned in the video, about who I should max and going with my healers. Now, I do want to still listen to you guys though, and I'm going to use that video and all the comments in there to help guide me when I max my future five stars. So just FYI, if you still have any thoughts about who should be maxed that I'm not, that you would like add it in here, please share. And I apologize the past few videos have just been cranky ever since yesterday. It's really just been since yesterday, since I did those more low pulls and they sucked. Since then I've just kind of, what am I messing with the troops? I've kind of just been in a bad mood when it comes to this game and everything I do in game is just making it worse. <laughs> so we're gonna do this. Maybe it'll make it better. We're gonna just level them. Jesus, I can't believe this is happening. I need to make sure I have food, so we're going to dump all of my recruits in. Such a momentous time and I I wish I was more excited or like something, but Ugh. So, I'm just so close to quitting, honestly. If I'm being real with you, like, I don't even want to play this game anymore. But I'm really trying. I'm really trying to hang on. Because I like the community, and that's really all I care about right now. The game itself, I could honestly, I'm, I'm over it. The only thing I enjoy is getting new heroes to make the game more interesting, I think. And I'm wondering if maybe maxing my heroes will help with that because the thing is with 370s, I get to play with all of them at any time. So all of my heroes, everybody looks that has lesser roster. They're like, oh my god, you have so many heroes. Like, I'd be happy with half of that. But for me, I get, I've already played with all of them. Like, it doesn't take me long to play with any of my heroes. I can get them maxed to the point, or not maxed, but leveled to the point of playing with them at my point in. Where I, oh Jesus, I can't even talk. Where 
I can play with him and compete with him or whatever. And after that, then I get to know him and it, it, the excitement's not as much. It's not there, I guess. But I'm wondering if maybe maxing will help because then you play with one hero for a longer period of time. So you, you get to know them better and maybe, maybe there's, that's the key. I don't know. Ugh, I'm tired too, so this is probably... I was going to wait until after war and everything. But we'll just do it now. Oh, Jesus, it's done. We're going to level them. Look at all these feeders. Oh, my goodness. And I have to feed some of these trainer heroes, but I want to save some... I'll eat five per, just to give me roster space. But I also wanted to save all this just to kind of be able to do summons right after and see, hey, if it improved my luck. But I will get no, well, new offers tomorrow, Covenant of Champion offers. Plus, since my Morlovia pulls have been really shit, I might still just... Even though I've been saving all of my black or gems for Black Friday, I might just use like I don't know, gems two temples worth of gems just to do it. God, I can't even talk. Like I have all these thoughts in my head, and I'm realizing it. The past two few couple sentences have just been like a whole mess. Well, there's no going back now, Randa. Your heroes are going to get maxed. No more three seventy. This is a weird thing, but I kind of need this too. It's almost like instead of feeding away my heroes, this is another way that if this doesn't go well, I can just like successfully cut ties because there's no more of that what if. Like, what if I max heroes? Would it make my gameplay better? Would it make my experience better? Would I not be as upset if my luck is significantly below average compared to everybody else? And... After this, hopefully I can grab some feeders and, oh, this is not unloading, and level them. I want to ideally max them in this video. And I don't expect them to change my gameplay much because it's only one set. More than likely, I'm not going to use them all the time, like, because they're all healers, except for Lord Loki. This is mostly just to do it. I probably won't see a significant change in my gameplay till I get like, I don't know, five, six matched in each color, max in each color. Five. Oh, you're not it. What? Oh. But as you can see, I've been just storing all my food because I haven't been playing. I haven't been feeding. I. When my bad luck hits, like, the last thing I want to do is play this game. So I just do what my alliance needs, and I do... I keep up with Path of Valor, because I bought Path of Valor, but next Path of Valor I'll miss. And, like, things like that. Things I'm making content for, so I've been making tournament videos and more videos and all that shit. But past that, my flags are full. Something I only enjoy doing when my luck is average, you know, which was a while ago. But now we have something else. Maybe this will... I think it's just I've been playing this game too much, so it's very hard for me to find joy in any other aspect. Because the only thing they do, like the devs release now that's new, are heroes. So that's the only way to change things up than it's been for the past, like, four years. Like, seriously, that's why... Getting heroes is kind of like what can keep you playing. I don't understand. Maybe if you've only ever been free to play, it's not that difficult because, I mean, it's what you're used to. But when you're used to like playing with different heroes, when you don't, when you stop getting any, it gets quite dull. But it doesn't help the game I play now. I just enjoy it much more. Oh, we need five. And they're very generous, but it's actually, it's still fun. And there's bottlenecks, too, so, I mean, it's not like, I mean, people aren't incentive to, like, spend to speed it up, but it's just, there's no reason for them to be as greedy as this company is. It's just, it's crazy. 
cool. Let's get some feeders. I have a lot in that. See, I have all these heroes I wanted to, like, level, but couldn't because there wasn't any roster space. And I don't know if there still really is. We should get rid of these trainer heroes here. This video is going to be mostly just me blabbing because, yeah. Ugh. We'll give her, I think there are less purple trainer heroes than anything else. So we'll give her those. Oh, this is going to take way too long. I don't like that. I kind of want the... I'm going to be in and out. Although, now that she's at 50, I wonder if this is when I should start feeding these trainer heroes. If I should just get rid of them all. Not quite yet. So that's probably the best thing. Just get rid of them all. Have all that roster space. And then focus on the next set. And I don't care how long those take. Because that just means I get to play with my 370s longer. And I just have slightly stronger support heroes. For that time being. You know what I mean? Uh... God damn it. I keep clicking because that's where my I usually grab to feed my heroes is that second row right there so that's who I keep clicking on when I want to feed my heroes until I remember no I put them in team one my defense team I have to remember to swap that out too because that is my defense team I'm too cheap to buy a like six team I'm gonna need more food And I figured, too, if, like, I don't know, I don't really enjoy this whole maxing thing. I mean, I can still play with my 370s. Because there's no way I'm going to ever be able to max all of them anyway. So in order to play with the ones I want to, more than likely I'll have to just play with them at that level anyway. So. But, here we are. Ah, see, I keep clicking that row. Plus, it doesn't help I threw my picture in here. I didn't know if I should or not, but since I made the video about helping me choose who to max with my face, I figured throw my face in for this one too. Oh my god. I made a lot of videos tonight. Holy shit. Anger fuels me, man. It sure does. But I almost feel better now that I've done this because I've been anticipating it so for so long and like my nerves have been getting to me and it's better I just do it while it's kind of like on a whim and like then thinking about it too much and planning it out. It's going to be strange the first few days but... move past it. I hope I chose the, I hope these heroes at the very least deserve to get Max. I mean, I've heard people love Lord Loki. I love my Nadeshta, my Rice, my Arco, and my Hulda. The only thing that will suck is if any of them get nerfed. And the only one probably likely to get nerfed is Rice. Just because he's so good. However, they seem to only really nerf defensive heroes that affect the meta. So long as Rice stays away from top 100 common on defense, he might be okay. But he, I don't know. I feel like he might still get nerfed like a little bit just because when compared to like any other healer, it's just insane. Uh, are we almost to the point we can start using... No, you're still saying way too long. I might take my face out of this because it's really in the way. Or maybe move down here. No, I need to touch down here. It's kind of an awkward placement. Uh. 
<laughs> Gonna need more food. Okay. What? No, they can't go over here. Don't have enough backpacks. Silly, Rinda. But now I can finally at least gain heroes. Honestly, my second favorite thing after, like, getting new heroes and being able to play with them is feeding them and, like, leveling them up. And so the past few, I don't know, was a week? I don't know when I, my roster space filled up. But since then, even before, like, I was done with my luck, like, it was already affecting my relationship with the game. I wasn't wanting to farm or anything because I couldn't do it. So all I would do are just, like, the quests that it were temporary. Like the Covenant of Champions quest. So that could also be playing a part in like why I am like so hateful of the game right now. When you don't have roster space, it, it is very annoying. But of course they'll sell it to you for $15. That's another thing too. Even if I wanted to come back to this game like full time and like I just, I don't like it. I don't think it's, I don't like how the devs treat us and all of the players. I mean, basically treat everyone like doormats. They are super stingy. I mean, if I'm any example, but also they don't release any new content to keep us playing. Like I was thinking about that, talking about how the heroes were the only thing they've released. And that's why I like new heroes, but just thinking about it, it's because they're not releasing, like, new gameplay content that's different. Not these new challenge events, which are just rehashing the same concept. But, like, actual new content. They could even branch away from Match 3 a little bit just to have something different. But they, they haven't. This dragon thing might be, but it's just... It's been several years of not and just heroes. And all this money going to them is going towards what in the game because I don't really see much getting better it's actually gotten so much worse since I first started but I'm also of the mind that if if I'd have known how this game would end up or even just like my relationship with the game like how unlucky I was like if I could do it all over again I wouldn't have played this game like knowing what I know now I don't think it's a good game and I would never recommend it to anybody. Ever. <laughs> it seems weird for me to make YouTube videos and like off of it, but it's because I know the game. And so for those that want to learn about it, I have that knowledge. But I, I would feel shame if I, I don't know, maybe it's just because I have a deep understanding of addiction and like, this is a gambling game. I don't know. I've thought about, like, my brothers asked me about this game, and it's just, I could never bring myself to, like, show it to him and get him to play it. Not after what I know now. Maybe in the beginning, because you don't really understand the full weight until you play it yourself. But even when you aren't a gambler, like, it's, it's very dangerous. And that's what the devs profit off of. And it's just very frustrating that they don't even try to hide it. And don't try to at least, you know, give us something for it. It's like a cigarette company. That's what it reminds me of. And this is such a Debbie Downer thing to be talking about as I first max my five stars. But it's honestly what my, my real thoughts on it, I even before my bad luck, it's just something I've probably been too timid to share because I know some people really love this game. And for me, it's not that I don't like still love it in some way. That's probably the problem is I wish I didn't. And it could be the gameplay itself or it could just be the players. I don't know what it is. But I know it's hard for me to let go of. And I do have a addictive personality. It comes with like my obsessive compulsive disorder. My my depression. My anxiety. I, I'm also an addict too. And so I have to be very careful. 
for that. And so just knowing that and knowing that this game preys off of people like me just makes me kind of just hate it in that way. Akin to how, what I, I hate about cigarettes, but I used to smoke. So, I mean, you can hate something, but still partake in it. And still get joy out of it. Shit. There are some days I really miss smoking. But I don't miss not being able to breathe or, you know, the smell. Well, I, I kind of like the smell, but I don't like the smell it would leave on my clothing. Ugh, stop it. And this is all perspective. This is all stuff you would not hear from me if I were in a good mood. <laughs> you get... I'm an emotional person, so I'm gonna obviously, like, share my opinions if I'm in a bad mood. I'll share my more negative opinions, but if I'm in a good, I'll try to keep it positive and light. Man, this is taking a long time. I wanted to get to like 60 maybe? Maybe then... Oh, Jesus. All this food it's taking... And the thing is with these balance updates, I mean, people are putting in a lot of time and a lot of resources. Like, watch me. I've saved all those four-star trainers since I started playing. Watch me just munch them all up and it goes just towards one five-star. And then you go and change the hero after release, after someone's already invested in it. Like, that's so shady. And then you don't have the decency to give these people their mats back. Allow them to make that decision again, knowing what they know now. It's just so fucked up. There's so many shady things that it's it shocks me when, like, I guess people aren't, I don't know, don't recognize that, I guess. They think, like, it's an okay company. I guess, I mean, the game itself, it, but the company, the way it treats its players and shit, it's just, ugh bothers me. It's always bothered me, though. Many of my posts on the forum have been, like, bitching about, like, what they should be doing instead of what they have been doing. Things like that. <sighs> but I don't think it's SG. Honestly, I think they... they sold their company. You know, we're looking for a payout, and, like, They've had no control since then. But back when they were in control, this game was good. It wasn't as much like heroes and maybe content and stuff, but the pace was good and the art was better. And I don't know. I, I like the company. They were actually willing to, like, give you decent rewards. You know those free rewards we get for seasonals? They were much better. They give you epic hero tokens, flasks. Now we just get battle items. They give us the bare minimum. And I remember, too, if they'd make a mistake, they would go back and, like, send you stuff in the mail. I have not seen anything in the mail anytime they've made a mistake since any of these balance updates. I've never seen them send anything since then. So, SG is not really to blame. I kind of, sometimes I unknowingly, like, group them in or whatnot. And I mean, I can't be certain it's not on them a little bit because they did sell the company, but they couldn't have known. Or maybe this isn't what they wanted for it. But now it's out of their control. And I mean, I've heard Zynga's known to just, like, take a game and squeeze it. I don't know about Take-Two. I have no idea. I don't recognize that name, even. But at the end of the day, it's hard to let go of a game that you still have pieces of, I guess. Even when it doesn't love you back like it doesn't love me. Almost there. I'm starting to get a pressure headache from all of this talking, all these videos. Now, honestly, all of this, like, frustration, probably. <laughs> I do have tomes of experience I could use if I really wanted to. Don't think I want to do that, though. 
don't know if it's best to save them to like the last level of a of a limit break or if it's best for the last five levels of just maxing a hero. Has anyone I'm sure someone's done the math and it's probably on the forum, but anyone actually watching this, listening, feel free to share. Where's the best use of that? Because that's something I've never had to concern myself with till now. This isn't the first time I've ever maxed a 5 star though. Like, I've done this many times in beta. This whole, like, speed leveling. So, anybody watching waiting for me to be, like, in shock and awe. This will just be my first time long-term playing with max heroes. Where are we in this? We're getting closer. I'm more excited to have like almost a hundred roster slots just free. Cause that means I can start keeping more four star dupes that I've always wanted to level, but just have never had space because I have to worry about the five stars and like the unique heroes. Although based on how long it's taken me just to max these five stars, I think if I actually just focus on five stars alone, I won't even have time to do the three stars and four stars I want to. But going back to like what they give you, the game I play now, you can do summons and there's a 0.1% chance you can earn 10,000 gems. So they even like give you a way to earn heroes but gems too. And thinking in this game, the quests, the collect gem quests are just so sad. Like you can't do anything with that. A free to play can maybe earn, what is it? It's not a thousand gems a month. I mean, that should be it. Was it like 300, 500? Or am I under overestimating? I don't know. It's not very much though. Honestly, I think, is it maybe up to 3,000? Actually, you know, oh shit, we almost hit rain. I shouldn't say it because I don't know. I'd have to, my memory's so bad I could be fucking up numbers. Sometimes I swear I get a little like dyslexic <laughs> and I'll be swapping a number from one thing with a number from another thing. That's why I track my pulse because or else I'd, <laughs> I'd get it all confused. It needs to be written down. But anyway, it's just this really. Not for people that want to compete, I guess. Because that's essentially, I mean, any game you can probably play free-to-play if they offer it without subscription. But the whole free-to-play versus pay-to-play means, like, competition, essentially, I would assume. So can you compete meaningfully without spending a dime just off of grinding alone? And I would say free-to-play players that have been playing for years probably could, but I wonder if it's... I don't think it's possible for a new free-to-play to come in. If, unless they're really lucky, maybe? But I would also recommend not spending on this game, honestly. Because before I spent, this game... Is, I guess it's, you lower your expectations, so it's just easier to deal with. But once you've had a taste of it, it gets harder to not do it because you realize how much faster things go or how good it feels to get a five star like that. And yeah, if I can do it all over again, that's probably what I would do. It's just not spend it all. Be free to play from the start. But you can't go back. Once you've experienced something, you've experienced it, and there you have it. Much harder to go from pay to play to free to play. And I respect anybody that's made that switch because that's got to be a tough one. It truly has to be. Especially if you're talking like high pay to play, not just cheap to play to free to play. I bet that transition's slightly better. Talking about all sorts of shit. 
I apologize anyone that's offended, but anybody that's played this game for four years is going to have a more pessimistic view, I think. I, there's, I'm sure there's some optimists out there, but that's just going to happen with anything. Like, that's why people that are older are just more, you know, frank with you. It's just, once you've been in something long enough, the dis you become disenchanted with it and you can see it for what it is. It doesn't mean I don't find joy in it. And I get so frustrated that me complaining all of a sudden means we should quit. Boo, 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 boo. If I wanted to quit, I would quit. And when I want to quit, I will quit. But it doesn't mean I still want to be honest. I want to be honest about the negative feelings I feel. When I'm unlucky, I'm going to let you all know. When I'm feeling, like, in what I feel. Because I'm unlucky. Usually pretty miserable. Or angry. I'll try to push it back as long as I can. But after a few hundred pulls without anything, it gets to me. But also when I'm excited, I'm going to be excited. I'm going to just probably just smile a lot. Jump up and down. And and when I... I don't know. Want to rant? I'm going to rant. Sometimes I don't even know where I'm going to go with my, my rant. But... We're gonna see and sometimes it's just filling up the spaces with my thoughts because I get bored just sitting here going back and forth back and forth <laughs> thinking after my healer so I'll probably do my like elemental defense downs and the, the other two heroes, I pair with them because each color, I have like a hit three where three heroes do the same thing and follow up each other really nicely. So that way I have a nice hit squad. I don't know, unless I do one more passive in each color. We're about to at least complete that one quest though, so that's nice. I've had one mission... Forever in my missions. I should probably take a picture of it because it's about to go away. Oh, Jesus, no. What the hell? Oh my god, okay. Good, my phone's not... Oh, shit. Ugh! Making sure my phone's not gonna die. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I mean, geez, still have like 12,000 feeders in here. I'm super backed up in the <laughs> training camps. Purple. There's lots of purple. I'll be honest, I'm secretly kind of doing this. Not, like, mostly, but there's a piece of me that's doing this, hoping my luck will finally be, you know, like a normal person's after all this. If it's not, though, because this is the last thing I can think of to improve my luck even, like these little weird cheats that people say, oh, as soon as I max a five-star, I started, I got that five-star, like... As soon as I max my reds for the first time, I got another red that I really wanted. So, you know, there's people that say that. And so, there's like this tiny piece of me that's just doing this so that I can finally get some five stars. But it also, I suppose, will be much easier for me to take a break once I can put this all down. I think, I don't know if I even have said that. Getting tired and it's kind of becoming like the same thing over and over again. I'm staring into one of those spinning wheels, you know, like, it's just a bunch of swirls, and I'm being hypnotized. That's what it feels like right now. It's the same thing over and over and over again. My brain wants to kill me. Literally. My head hurts. I should probably check to see where are these 
I don't I want to be able to use all my training heroes so I have as much space as humanly possible so let's see after this damn very close I should check this one, but they're all slightly different. I have a few more and less. Okay, we're very close in red, too. Let's try purple. Okay, close in purple. I think it's yellow and blue left, right? I think we've got a ways to go on yellow here. Hmm, not, wow, okay. And blue. We're almost there guys, ugh, such a mountain. Ooh, this one it looks like I have a lot of trainer heroes for. Oh shit, look at that. I'll have a few extra then. We can finish my blue probably. Honestly, I don't care about the food. It's just sitting there anyway. He's gonna be my first one. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, we'll move over here. Nobody in my alliance is noticing. Because <laughs> my defense is set to these heroes that I'm leveling right now. Don't want to spoil the surprise. Although, I feel bad. I'm not uber excited. Right down here. I'm going to keep checking it. I think we're... Getting very, very close here. Green, let's go back to my greens. Mm, close enough. Good. I love having all of this hero space to be able to feed, like, naturally with a bunch of heroes because it saves time. I hate having to go back and, like, collect every, like, two hero feedings. It's just so annoying. How close are we now? Very close. Good. Oh, my God. Getting rid of all these trainer heroes. Nice. That's probably like the most excitement I've seen. I've been this entire time. It's, oh, look at all these trainer heroes gone. I guess it is a little bit exciting now that it's come to the last bit of this. It's gonna cost a lot of food. I started this in a really shit mood. I'm getting. I'm actually getting a little excited now. Mostly just to have it done too, and. To see what it's like. I guess I've never really gotten to play like my wars or my tournament hits like that. Because I don't participate in alliances in beta. Because, I don't know, it's hard enough just to deal with a normal alliance outside of that. I didn't want all that pressure. Even though I don't know if anybody really cares in beta. It's just, just in case. Damn, that's a lot of purples. Close enough. I wonder if I should wait. It'll be expensive food-wise. Nah, fuck it. What else we got? Blue, so it's just yellow. Boop, 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 boop. Let's 
Oh no, we're over. How many are we over? Oh, that's kind of an awkward. What? Okay, fine. Whatever. I guess Rice is my first max hero. Uh, which you know we should do these two stars. Uh, Arco's done. Damn it, so close. Lord Loki just needed like one. Nadeshta? Okay, just the two. Just need to grab a couple more so we can get Hulda ready and. Ugh, really? I think it'd be better off grabbing single. One, two, no. Really? Okay, just a second. <laughs> I need food too, oh my god. Damn. This was very expensive. And maxing my next set is going to take me a long time. Well, if you think about it, taking a 5 star from 101 to 370 is about how long it takes for a hero to go from 401 to 470. Just rush the shit out of it, but that is it. Oh my god, I really didn't get any purples. Okay, time to feed these motherfuckers. Get one purple. <laughs> uh. I like how now at least you can collect all these heroes in one go. That is nice. They've added a few quality of life updates recently. I do appreciate- oh shit, some of these one stars probably go to things, don't they? We've got- ugh, let's just- we're going for the purple one star, let's move on. So you all can go back to your lives. Yes. Cool. We did it. One whole team of max five stars. My support heroes. Plus Lord Loki kind of a mix. Now let's swap them out because I really don't want them as my main defense. Luckily two of them are on my defense. I guess that works out. Put it back. Lubu and Bastet. We do that and no. That and that. Okay. Cool. So there you have it, I finally maxed my 5 stars, and if you stuck through that video, congratulations, you put up with a lot. Put up with my negativity, put up with my venting, and put up with the monotony, monotony of maxing my 5 stars for the first time, but let's go collect that mission, and then we're done. Yay! Let's take a picture of that. Okay, cool. All done. Alright, well, there you have it. Now I can either go on and start maxing my other five stars or just continue what I was doing because now I have roster space and I can actually feed heroes now. Doesn't change the fact that my luck has been really awful lately and that might just be enough for me to take a break from the game in the most sense. Maybe just do summons and that's it. But it is something at least. We'll try it. Okay. Well, there you have it. You guys have a good night, and we'll see you in the next video.